to this blog edition of urban tales i am digdeep singh sajwan and right now i am at dhras lake which is situated in the western side of chandigarh just behind punjab university campus area wise dhras lake is the second biggest lake in chandigarh after sukhna lake this lake is spread over an area of 15 hectare and uh, this lake is a part of uh, patiala ki rao reserve forest area it is also very close to nearby chandigarh botanical garden now right behind me you can see the grid connected floating solar power plant so far as the power generation capacity of this plant is uh, concerned this plant uh, is the second biggest uh, floating solar power plant in chandigarh and it has a capacity of 500 kilowatt this plant serves multiple objectives this plant has been set up with the vision to develop lake as another tourist spot in chandigarh a grid connected floating solar power plant has been installed at one side of uh, this lake which apart from feeding the main grid by electricity so generated also uses a part of it from the main grid for running three uh, fountains at the lake three solar fountains have been installed for uh, aeration healthy aquatic life and uh, of course uh, beautification of uh, the dhras lake the height of one of the fountain is uh, about uh, 25 meter which is around 82 feet and which is the highest in the tri city the plant is octagonal in shape this type of floating solar plants are land neutral what does uh, this mean all other renewable uh, sources of energy like solar wind and hydro requires a lot of uh, land to set up and in in india we being a densely populated country here find uh, land is very difficult to find not only this land has multiple other uses the land can be utilized for industry agriculture urban settlement like housing education hospitals and all such civic requirement as per indian government policy we have to use the waste land for solar power these wasteland are very difficult to find in india uh, most of such wasteland is present in the part of rajasthan gujarat and madhya pradesh uh, these parts are, uh, do not have adequate water uh, we must know the solar panels require periodic cleaning by water to maintain the optimal level of power generation there has been uh, cases instances where in summer month water has to be carried uh, from far off places by rail this type of land neutral solar power plant as they are set up in wide open over the surface of water they completely avoid shadow loss as there is a no uh, vegetation or the uh, tall building around beside this the amount of dust which uh, accumulated on uh, the surface of solar panel is very less one of the major advantage of such floating solar plant is uh, energy gain due to the increased efficiency of solar panels this happens due to the lower temperature existing over the surface of water on account of uh, natural evaporative cooling now the standard operating temperature of solar cell is around 25 degrees celsius as we go beyond this temperature there is a loss of uh, energy gain almost by 0.45% in terms of a decrease efficiency of solar cells in india during the month of summer as the temperature is uh, around 45 degrees celsius and the temperature of solar panel surface is around uh, 70 degrees celsius 
we are operating at 22% less efficiency. Therefore, the floating solar power plant does not have to face such problem of a higher temperature as existing temperature over the surface of water uh, reservoir is comparatively far less. And this result in increased level of power generation. High temperature also result in the increased water evaporation level over the surface of water reservoir. So covering these water bodies or reservoir by setting up solar power plant, uh, we are basically covering the surface of the water bodies. Uh, which ultimately results in a decreasing water evaporation during the hot uh, summer months uh, over the surface of water. So a lot of water can be saved from these uh, reservoirs. These land neutral floating uh, solar plants help in maintaining the ecological health of uh, water bodies as they have embedded system for aeration of uh, water which keeps water oxygen level at a healthy level which further takes care of the aquatic life biochemical and chemical processes which are must for a healthy water ecosystem uh, this is Jagdish Singh uh, reporting for Urban Tales thank you very much